The hammerhead is a new arrival in the shark family. It's thought to have first appeared in the oceans a mere 40 million years ago. But nobody's really sure. There are precious few clues to the origins of the hammer. Sharks almost never leave behind fossils, the main source of evidence about an animal's past. Ancient fish with skeletons made of hard bone left behind a detailed record of their evolution. But shark skeletons are made of cartilage, so teeth and jaws are all that usually remain. This means there are few clues to the ancestry of hammerhead sharks. Biologists have always assumed that the hammers we see today grew gradually over millions of years. That the head of a typical streamlined shark grew wider, expanding by very tiny amounts each generation, until eventually, after millions of years, the hammerheads we know today appeared. But the latest genetic evidence has turned this theory upside down. Some scientists now think the hammer didn't appear gradually, that perhaps it was a freak mutation that happened almost overnight. To many biologists, this is heresy, the kind of idea that would have Darwin turning in his grave. Freaks of nature do occasionally appear, but they almost never survive. Creatures straight out of science fiction like this two-headed shark, doomed to an early death. But just occasionally, one of these mutants does survive, and a whole new species is born. Was the first hammerhead one of these one-in-a-million freaks? Could its hideously distorted head have opened up a whole new way of life? With the eyes so far out to the sides, it couldn't look forwards, so hunting using vision became impossible. It had to adapt or die. Moving to the ocean floor, it relied on other senses to find food and became the specialist hunter we know today. It might sound like fantasy, but this theory could explain the strangeness of the hammer-shaped head. 